Hey guys, Zot here, and welcome to another classic World of Warcraft video. So you've got your pre-raid bis, and you've even got your best in slot PvP gear ready for phase 2. So what now? Well, with the release of phase 2, the PvP rank and rewards honor system will be released into classic World of Warcraft. This means world PvP is going to be the most important aspect of the game. And these five trinkets all provide unrivaled utility, allowing you to gain that edge over your opponents. And the best thing about them, they're all obtainable in phase one. So what are you waiting for? This is our top five utility trinkets you need. First up on the list is going to be the Gnomish Netomatic Projector. This incredibly strong trinket roots your enemy for 10 seconds, which is a physical net so is also undispellable. As with most engineering gadgets, there is a chance for this to backfire. The Netomatic has three different outcomes. First is the standard use, which will just root your target for 10 seconds. The second backfire will instead root yourself for 10 seconds, which can be unfortunate in some situations. And the third use is that you will instead charge the target and end up next to them and both be rooted for 10 seconds, which for some classes is even better than its original use. So what makes this trinket one of the strongest utility trinkets in the game? Well, most classes don't actually have a way of escaping roots. This trinket can allow you to keep them in place for a solid 10 seconds, meaning you can then either build distance before hitting them as a caster, run away altogether, or simply use it as a tool to catch up to those mobile classes you're facing as a melee. Not to mention this route can be used on targets whilst they're mounted and is probably my favorite way of using it right now. So if you're looking to engage on a target but they're getting away on their mount, use this and you've got a whole 10 seconds to take them down. All right, so by this point, you're probably sold and you're wondering where do you get this trinket? Well, it's by no surprise that you get it from engineering, the gnomish specialization to be more specific. At 200 skill, engineers are able to pick either Gnomish or Goblin Engineering. If you select Gnomish, you'll be sent on a quest to learn the ways of the Gnomish Engineer. Once complete, you'll be able to craft this incredibly strong trinket at 210 skill. But don't worry, if you've not selected your specialization yet, or you picked Goblin, then you can either get a friend to craft it for you or purchase one from the auction house, as it's bind on equip and doesn't require you to be a Gnomish Engineer to use only to craft. Coming in next, we've got something that is probably no surprise to anyone, and that's the much sought after Tidal Charm. I would personally say this trinket is completely unrivaled when it comes to utility in vanilla. So what does it actually do? Well, Tidal Charm is a three second stun with no cast time, having a 30 yard range. As it's a stun, it will obviously not break on damage. In vanilla, not many classes actually bring a stun. And for some classes, having access to one makes them incredibly broken. Take mages, for instance. With this trinket, you'll be able to use it and then polymorph the target for free, or simply use it to build some distance and get a free cast off. For healers, they can use it on DPS that are currently training them, which can be a great pill in allowing you to again secure another cast. Whilst for warriors and enhancement shamans, you can use this trinket to simply global somebody. It's worth mentioning that this trinket effect is nature, so therefore can be resisted. On top of that, it also shares diminishing returns with other stun effects. If you've been charmed by this trinket and want to get one for yourself, it's not going to be easy. Tidal Charm drops from a rare spawn Naga in Arafi Highlands, located in the waters just south of Stormguard Keep. Due to this trinket being highly sought after for all PvPers, you'll often find his spawn heavily camped. And with it being anywhere between 30 to 46 hours, and also the trinket only having about a 40% drop rate, you can see why this trinket might be a bit tricky to get. Next on the list of trinkets is going to be the Nifty Stopwatch. The stopwatch gives the user a 40% run speed increase for 10 seconds. This item speaks for itself. Vanilla is a time where mobility is extremely scarce. Having an on-demand speed increase is one of the most powerful forms of utility available. You can use this to chase down that pesky rogue trying to sprint away from you, or if the tables turn, you can use it to sprint away from him. For casters, you can use this item to build distance from melee to get some casts off, or melee can use it to close the gap. Nifty Stopwatch is almost a must for those of you looking to run flags in Warsong Gulch when it's released. Chain this with other speed increases and you'll be across the map before your enemies know what happened. 
To obtain this trinket, you're going to need to complete a short quest chain in the Badlands, starting from a gnome called Lotwil Veriatus. Before so, however, make sure you have these four items. One Frost Oil, one Health Potion, one Lesser Invisibility Potion, and one Gyro Chronotom. And finally, a pair of patterned bronze braces. After this, you'll be sent to kill some Earth Elementals, and then, after a little bit of back and forth between his gnome friend, Lucian Tossel Wrench, right next to him, you'll be sent on a quest to bring back the Shackles of an Elemental Binding, from a level 45 Earth Elemental just south of Lotwill. Return the binding and collect your nifty stopwatch. Moving on, our fourth trinket on this list is going to be the Barov Peasant Caller. This rare quality trinket, at first glance, doesn't look like much. The use of this trinket says it will call forth three servants of the House Barov. They will fight, cook and clean for you on a 10 minute cooldown. Despite its flavour text, all it does is send three NPCs to attack your target, doing minimal damage in the process. But the damage is not what makes this trinket strong. In vanilla, cast times generally were a lot longer, and pushback was a much bigger deal than what it is today. If you've ever tried to cast a spell with one mob hitting you, you'll know just how annoying pushback can actually be. Now imagine three mobs hitting you, and trying to land a cast. Well, that's this trinket. When used against any caster, it can make their life a nightmare. Not to mention the peasants have a decent amount of health so don't die in one single AoE. Despite that, the only caster that can really deal with these is a mage, with arcane explosion or by rooting them. Other casters will get absolutely destroyed, and get some extreme pushback on all of their casts. The Barov Peasant Caller can also be used from range, and is a great tool for also eating hunter traps. Hunters love placing a freezing trap at their feet, ready for melee to walk straight into. Pop this trinket, and goodbye trap. To obtain this trinket, you'll need to complete the Barov Family Fortune Quest picked up from your Western Plaguelands faction hub, so here for Alliance or here for the Horde. The quest will get you to head into the Scholomance Dungeon and collect four deeds. Return back and you'll receive a quest to kill either Alexi Barov for the Alliance or Weldon Barov for the Horde. Return the head and you'll be awarded with the Barov Peasant Caller. Our last item on this list is the Arena Grand Master. This trinket provides you with a 1% chance to dodge attacks, which isn't much, but it's the on use that makes this trinket strong. Having an on demand shield of up to 1250 damage is insanely powerful from a trinket. Take into account a geared player in phase 1 has anywhere from 3k to 5k health. This shield can potentially be over one third of your entire health pool. Shields are also an extremely strong mechanic in vanilla. As you may have seen from our previous trinket, spell pushback is a huge deal for any caster, and this trinket just completely removes that, as when shielded you are not affected by spell pushback at all. Not to mention, when shielded, warriors are unable to gain any rage off you, whilst the shield persists, making their life a living nightmare. To obtain the Arena Grandmaster, you are required to collect 12 Arena Master trinkets from the Stranglethorn Vale Gurubashi Arena. For those of you unfamiliar with this event, every 3 hours, so 12, 3, 6, 9 and so forth, a chest will spawn in the centre of the Gurubashi Arena in Stranglethorn, placed there by Short John Mithril. Loot this chest and you will gain an Arena Master trinket. Repeat this 12 times and you'll be able to, in turn, exchange them for the Arena Grand Master at Short John Mithril. Alright then guys, that's it for our top 5 utility trinkets you need for Phase 1 of Classic World of Warcraft. Thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed this video.